Two strokes have always been an integral part of the outboard industry, defining sheer power and lightweight. Avinrude was about to introduce its 300 horsepower unit, but arriving late after Mercury, the OMC owned manufacturer had to be creative. Interestingly enough, they created a whole new series of two stroke V8 engines that went on to leave a huge impact in the industry. In 1975, OMC bumped up the flagship model by 50% from 135 to 200 horsepower, introducing a two-stroke V6, and 10 years later, they did it again, this time increasing a six-cylinder to a V8. However, the OMC unit was late to the game as Mercury launched their 300 horsepower powerhead first in 1981 requiring only 6 cylinders. Since Mercury already had the 300 horsepower primacy, OMC struck back and developed the world's first two-stroke V8 engine series in 1984. For the 1985 model year, OMC's both daughter companies, Evinrude and Johnson, revealed a 3.6-liter V8 unit in two different versions. One with 275 horsepower and an operating range of 5 to 6,000 RPM, and a high output version with 300 horsepower at 6,250 RPM. The introduction of the V8 did not come out of nowhere. The two stroke engine was used as the first powerhead of the F1 Powerball Championship sanctioned by the UIM in 1981. The V8 powered some of the fastest boats in the world. In 1989, a fuel-injected, nitro-powered, 9000 revving version claimed a world record, reaching a two-way average of 179 miles per hour. Testing even displayed speed figures of 200 miles per hour thanks to a power output of 550 horsepower with shots of nitro. The 3.6 GD and XP engine fell off the suit of its small siblings, with individual carburetors and loop charge induction, featuring flatter piston crowns that introduced a more efficient combustion process at high RPM. The crankshaft had split crank pins, and both the crank and the rods were spinning on roller bearings. These two strokes were not very efficient at low speed cruising. Operating at full or nearly full wide open throttle was the best manner to utilize such a beast. The 3.6 liter engine was offered until 1987 and the following year it was bored out to 4 liters. The power rating remained the same, however, in 1989, the 275 horsepower variant was discontinued and returned as a 250 unit, peaking at 5000 RPM in 1991. Both the 300 and 250 variants were offered until 1995, with the 250 variant making one more appearance in 1997. Interestingly, customers were able to purchase the F1 derived version with the same 3.5 liter displacement. These weren't just base units cranked up a bit more, they were true detuned F1 powerheads and produced serious power. In fact, they were rated at 390 horsepower with an operational range from 7000 to 8250 RPM running on regular pump gas. Additionally, they were slightly lighter, weighing around 525 pounds, about 25 pounds lighter. However, they are incredibly rare 
and the spare parts market is basically non-existent. The story of the OMC two-stroke V8 is quite short. In 1996, the V8 was dropped and the 3 liter V6 became the top trim engine. However, the V8 laid the foundation stone of people's interest in such large outboard powerheads, which other manufacturers continued with. Many more V8s were released later on, along with some V10s and V12s. But they are all four-stroke engines, making the Evinrut and Johnson units one of the very few two-stroke petrol V8s to exist in the modern world. Last but not least, there's the Rudison, the V8-powered Volvo Amazon created by Swedes, who, after a couple of beers, thought it would be a great idea to stuff their Evinrude engine into a Volvo. The result is mind-blowing, with the tiny V8 and the huge expansion chambers actually picking up significant power. The Rudison delivers about 400 horsepower at a weight of under 1550 pounds. <laughs>